with the uh, stylistic change that happened with Futurama, you, you, you began to explore the studio possibilities more. Um, how much was that down to, to what you wanted to do yourself or, or, or to Roy Thomas Baker or, or uh, was it a mixture of everyone sort of throwing well, ideas in I the guess it, I guess it was a mixture of a lot of things. Um, we had a superb engineer on that album, a guy called Pat Moran. And um, Roy had had a lot of success with Queen and, and was a bit of a star producer at the time. <laughs> and we didn't always see eye to eye. Uh, no disrespect to his abilities as a producer, but personality-wise, we maybe had a few clashes. But um, Pat Moran was a solid rock, you know, someone who just did the job and did it extremely well. Very talented engineer. Um, so I had a lot of ideas in terms of arrangements and structure and so on, and we were able to do a lot of layering of parts, which you know, Pat had worked on the Queen stuff as well, so there was suddenly, if you want to add another part, you know, we have the ability to do that. And so things were built up and built up. And it became a very um, slick and grandiose kind of production album. <laughs>